Hi guys, welcome back to Home on the Hitch. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what's next in our adventures. We're always excited to share with you things that we have learned over the last seven years of RVing and to bringing you new information as we continue to grow. Today I want to tell you about this great new product that I discovered at the 2021 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. Um, so let's get started. So the, this is called the Dock and Stow. So it eliminates the need for all of these stacking leveling blocks um, that you know sometimes don't really hold up because as you can see, we've, uh, we've eaten through a few of these, you know, and so they, they get to where they don't really stack. So it's a solid one piece construction. It's space saving by, with a seven by seven inch block. Um, it's lightweight, it's time saving because you can store it right on the frame. It increases the stability underneath your, your tongue jack because you're eliminating the stacking of multiple blocks. And um, it increases the footprint underneath your, underneath your, your tongue jack also. So um, it, it is weather resistant. Um, it is waterproof. It's durable. Um, it is resistant to UV exposure. Oh, that's good and mud, um, and it produces a more stable surface for, it to for, sit on. for your jack to sit on. Man. So it's heat resistant, and it's resistant to mud and most other environmental hazards. Um, it's versatile, it fits under tongue jacks, wheel jacks, stabilizers, round or square plates, um, and it has spacers that you can attach for, um, for better fits. So this is a three inch wide and by adding the spacers you can reduce it to a two inch frame so this this has a screw in the middle so okay so you can remove that if you want to put your your wheel i oh, like if it's a like a like, tongue like, jack has like a if, wheel if your tongue jack has a wheel okay. on it so so like if it's for your utility trailer or trailer. or your your um like scamps yeah, or perfect. or you know um pop-up campers Yep, so it's so, going to work with those two. Yes, yeah, so, so you would just remove that. Um, and also, if you have a square, um, right. it, it, is, it's, it will fit in that also. Okay, and it has good. a lip on it, so it's not going to slip. Awesome. Um, which, you know, can be a huge problem. Absolutely. So um, it's, con the, it's convenient because it's just one block, and it is a easy point use of storage because no, you can I, store I do it like right that. on. So, you right know, if, we, if you stop to just grab a bite or whatever, you, all you got to do is snag one of those. Or two, do they stack? Or? They do. They do stack. So um, there's two, two different models. There's a Generation 1, which is what we have, and it's the non-magnetic. And then there's the Generation 2, which is magnetic. Okay. So, um, and then also, the, which is the difference is going to be that the Generation 1 fits square or rectangular tube frames. Uh -huh. um, it's not for use with the I-beam or a C-channel construction. Okay. And it has no magnet. Okay, so the Generation 2 has, um, it fits rectangular tubes, tubes, beams, and a C-channel. Okay. Um, it also has a magnet that's rated for 85 pounds of pull. Okay. Uh, and it must be used with frames that are made with ferrous, ferrous metals containing iron, gotcha. mild steel, carbon, but not aluminum because aluminum so is So it magnetic. has a, a strong magnet that holds it on primarily on the frame. Right. And then, and then with either unit, you're going to want to use the bungee cord that is included on there just, just to give it right. a little extra security. Cool. So our frame is a two inch frame so right. I had to install both of the spacers okay. inside yeah. and they just snap right in and oh. they don't come out so perfect um, and then it just sets right on top of the frame there as you can see it's it's very stable and then when you add the the bungee cord to the loops bungee. Oh, it's not gonna it's not gonna go anywhere yeah so it's just going to kind of hang out till you need it. Right. And so we have two of them. So you can attach one on either side of your frame, depending upon how much space that you have. Cool. Um, the one thing that I like about having, having the two together is that, you know, sometimes you have to stack six or eight blocks on top of each other. Right. Well, you can just stack the two together 
and look, it's not going anywhere. All right, so I'm going to show you how easy this is to do because this is sometimes my job. We got the, I've got the trailer on jack stands, or I've got jack stands here so we can safely lift the tongue jack up. Perfect. All right. So, as you can see, sometimes accidents happen. Yeah. And so this is also to help eliminate that slide on top, of, on top of the blocks. Because sometimes you're at an awkward angle and your, your jack stand doesn't want to, want to stay where you put it. Right. All right, so it has the, the center placed in there Got and um, we're just gonna leave our screw in there because there's no need to take that out. So you're gonna center it up underneath the jack stand. And then we're going to extend the trailer. All right, so you can see that it's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not going to go anywhere. So that, that also helps when you're, you know, when you're on sli a slight slope and maybe it's a little wet outside, so it's not going to slip and slide. Now, these blocks are um, rated for 5,000 pounds and 2,500 pounds for the wheel jack. Um, it is supposed to hold 20% of your tongue, your total gross weight of your trailer. So this should more than compensate for, for any size vehicle that you have. Now, another thing, great thing about this is that you don't only use it for the tongue jack, you can also use it underneath your stabilizers. All right, so here, here we have them placed underneath our stabilizers so that you can see that the, it fits the footprint of the stabilizers very well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put the spacers in. So you start out with a three inch space and when you add one spacer on each side, it just clicks right in Perfect. like so. This becomes a two and a half inch space. And then when you add the second set, which snaps again, then it creates a two inch Perfect. That was easy. fit. And then they don't come out. Oh, nice. Yep. So it's in so there. Make sure you know. <laughs> <laughs> make make sure you know what size you're using yeah. before you snap it snap in, there. Those in there. Otherwise, um, you know, it might be a little difficult. I met the owner. His name is Mark Gregory, and I also um, met the very enchanting sale, general sales manager Steve Flynn, um, and they are the ones that introduced me to their product. Um, it is made and distributed out of Denver, Colorado. The product is available for purchase only online. You can purchase it from their website, which is www.dockandstow.com, or um, through Amazon or any of the big box camper stores. So this is not a paid promotion by Dock and Stow. They did provide us with the product, but this is our own review and um, evaluation of their product. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and remember to love one another, take care of each other, and keep making every moment count um, because that's what we're all in this together. And until next time, love y'all.